What are the unions involved in this trade union? What are the sectors that will be affected by this trade union action? The collective of state and provincial state services trade unions said that about 1 million of their members will call in sick tomorrow and the day after. Our rulers and authorities must understand that these measures will be reversed only if the presented demands are met. Ranil is currently refusing to raise the state sector employee salaries. In response, we demand this allowance of 25,000 rupees. Therefore, we urge all other public service departments to immediately suspend non-essential services. We will determine our next steps based on the government's response. Over 20,000 postal workers across Sri Lanka's 4,700 post offices and sub-offices launched a trade union action this afternoon. Postal workers across the country will stage a symbolic 48-hour strike starting tomorrow. The strike action will begin at 4 p.m. today at the Colombo Central Mail Exchange. In all other locations, the trade union action will begin at midnight today. The Health Trade Union Alliance alleges that the President's statement on the limitations to increasing their salaries due to the election is baseless. How are the elections and our salaries related? The funds required for the election is about 9 to 10 billion. Ranil Vikramasinghe claiming that the election is the reason he can't increase salaries is a joke. The All Salon Nurses Union said it will not join the two-day strike that will be launched. Chief Secretary S.B. Madhivatha said such a strike will inconvenience the sick. The Salon Teachers Union said that although teachers will report to work as usual tomorrow, they will be staging a trade union action by reporting sick leave on the 9th of July. In a coordinated effort, the collective of state and provincial state services trade unions have called on all teachers and principals across the country to participate in a sick leave strike starting from the 9th of July. The Ministry of Education has advised principals to continue school activities next week with the support of parents. In response to the trade union action to be implemented from tomorrow, Ministry Secretary Tilaka Jayasundra said that this decision was made to ensure uninterrupted school activities. The university non-academic staff will engage in a trade union action on the 8th and 9th of July. To implement the national non-academic service policy and the national transfer policy, we will be taking trade union action on the 8th and the 9th. We have scheduled a discussion with the relevant authorities on the 8th. We have only exempted security and hostel services from this. The trade union action will be effective on the 8th and 9th. During this period, only security and hostel services will not be affected and function normally. Following our discussion with the Ministry of Education on the 8th, we will make a decision on the future of these services based on the outcome of the discussion. Nearly 12,000 Gramnidari officers working in 14,022 Gramnidari divisions across Sri Lanka are supporting the trade union action that will be implemented tomorrow. This is what they had to say. Are the executive officers the only ones feeling the burden of the economic crisis? The government and political parties have remained silent on the demands of the Gramaniladari Officers Union for a service constitution specific to the Gramaniladari Officers. Our request for an interim allowance until the allowance committee's decision is implemented in the budget has been ignored. In response to this neglect, the Sri Lanka Gramaniladari Officers Union is joining the strike action taking place tomorrow and the day after. Sri Lanka